Hey YouTubers, guitar lovers and haters and skeptics of the world out there. Yeah, man. So, uh, the only thing I can find wrong with this guitar is the pickups. I had a serious trouble trying to get the plastic off. And, uh, they have scratches. You see how they're dull and got the chrome around the screws but they're all scratch up scratched up and uh, i'm gonna do my best i can to polish them up it's not gonna bother me in the past it would man i'd get sick over it or you know send the guitar back or whatever and i'm not gonna sweat it man i'm not gonna stress out like that anymore and worry about little imperfections and my guitar skills matter more than that and you know i bought this guitar because I love it. I fell in love with it at the guitar shop. Guitar center. And. Uh, I figured I was going to have to do some kind of work on it man. So it needs nothing man. Even the, the neck relief is set right man. Everything is set. It's good to go. I just had to tune it and that was it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm under the weather right now. You know, I'm, I'm fighting for my life right now. And uh, I'm going to play it as soon as I, I feel better. And I got the two fireflies. They're 90 miles away, man. They should be here tomorrow. So we'll get an unboxing on that. And, but Access turned me on to that, the Brasso. Nah, I forgot about this stuff. But it does, you know, the stainless, stainless steel, aluminum, the bronze, the chrome, pewter, and the brass and the copper. It's only three dollars and eight cents, you know, and, and I use that high dollar stuff, the uh, mag polish, mothers. When I do my frets, if you look at, in my past videos, you'll see. I mean, I I go to town on it, but uh, I thought I was going to have to do some work on this, and there's nothing. I mean, they're very, very slightly high, like twenty one, and I. I think it was 17, 15, or 14. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I checked it last night. We're talking a couple thousand, man. It's just slightly off. And I'm not going to sweat that. Usually I would take it all down and level everything down to perfection. But I'm just going to break it in, man. I'm going to let the, you know, eventually I'm going to break it in. It'll be fine, man. The bending, you know, my string bends and everything. It's going to, it's all going to blend in, man. But yeah, that's that's the only thing wrong with this guitar is that and pickups. I don't know what the heck they did at the factory, but they're just dull. See that? Yeah. But I'm not gonna not gonna sweat that, man. And it feels good that I'm not gonna sweat it, man. It makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> and I, I'm feeling better than I was yesterday, man. And I'm going to start exercising on an exercise machine and everything. And my wife's getting me on this different way of eating and everything. And she really laid into me yesterday. Really laid into me. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff on, on these guitars, man. No more. That's too much stress on me. But this guitar is freaking awesome, man. Love the way it looks. When I plugged it in to tune it up yesterday, man, does it sound good. Come, you know, I, I was using my little Black Star uh, practice amps. And uh, when I was on rhythm, man, it really had such a, a deep tone, man. Real dark, deep tone that I never heard before. Out of any of my guitars, it's, it's like it was like a bass, man. It had a lot of extra bass. And then, you know, go on treble. Man, does it have a good punch. It's real punchy, man. It sounds great. It feels great. Plays great. Just got to break it in. And I really love that fretboard. I really love that fretboard. I love it, man. This guitar is well worth the $199, man. It's on sale. 
you know, I, I'd go to the, if you got the cash, go check them out, man. I was, you know, I'll tell you this story. Uh, when we were in Guitar Center, you know, I, my son bought the Jackson and we called it. I had my heart set on the uh, Epiphone Studio LT. It was a used one. And uh, we called them and said, hey, man, put that aside. We're coming to get that too, you know. And uh, they put it aside, and then I get there, and I'm ready to pay for it. And the dude's like, uh, you know, you got to wait 10 days for it. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, it's on a police hold. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, all of our, you know, we're like a pawnbroker, so they got to wait 10 days to make sure it's not stolen. I'm like, are you kidding me? Why did you put it on the shelf, man? I had my heart set on getting this guitar. You know, it was a little cheaper than this one. And uh, he's like, you know, sorry about that, man. And I'm like, oh, man. Whoops. I really wanted that guitar. And I, he, he's like, you want to wait 10 days? I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to chew on it. So I went back to the guitars and got back on this one, man, and checking other ones out. And then I got back on this one. I stayed on it, man. It was like, oh, yeah, this is it, man. The second time I played it was it was even better than the day before. I was like, oh yeah, this is it, man. So I'm glad, you know, I didn't get that Studio LT, but check this out, man. So the guitar is behind the counter, and he, he had it on a stand. And then he picks it up, and he's looking at the number on the, the tag and everything. And uh, while he's, you know, going to ring it out or whatever, I don't know what he was doing, and but then uh, he puts it back on the stand, how it is right now, and then it falls face first on the concrete floor, man. Bam! I'm like, hold me and my son look at each other. We're like, whoa! <laughs> oh my God! He just puts it back on the stand, and then uh, you know, as we were uh, back in the guitar section, we we noticed it. He just put it right back on the rack. You know, so you got to watch Guitar Center, man. That's why I prefer getting things out of the box from the warehouse or, you know, go to the shop. If you ain't got one new in the box, I ain't going to get it from you, man. Because you never know what them jokers do to them guitars. Or, you know, if somebody goes there messing with the guitar, checking them out, and they're just abusing it, you know, and bending pickups, moving them around or whatever, and messing with the tone, uh, volume and tones, and, you know, I don't want nothing off the rack, man, you never know, I, you know, like I said, I don't mind if there's something minor, but, you know, getting something off the rack, especially where I live, man, you can't trust people around here, especially the Guitar Center in Madison, or Middleton, Wisconsin. It's just right outside uh, Madison. It's not too far from me. And uh, they're jokers, man. They're real, real jerks, man. They're not pleasant to deal with. It's pathetic, man. So, uh, you know, I just called the uh, regular guitarcenter.com and told, told them I want new from your warehouse. And they got me this one, so. But it's, you know, it's unfortunate that my pickups are dull, but that's not going to affect my playing, man. You know, I need to worry about my skills more than that, so. But yeah, such a beautiful guitar. Needs nothing. I, I can't do nothing to it but clean them pickups. I mean, I'm not going to get all that out, but I'll get them a little cleaner and everything. I'll try to do something, I don't know. It ain't really going <clears> to <throat> bother me. We'll just clean them up and call it a day. They work fine in all positions, you know, and I'm happy. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's handcrafted in uh, Vietnam, this guitar. Handcrafted in Vietnam. And I dig the, uh, I never had locking tuners, and I really dig them, man, so far. They're, they work work fine. They feel great, nice and tight. And uh, Access, right, you know, told me, make sure I don't tighten up that, uh, that locking uh, 
nut up tight because I'll snap the strings. So I just, you know, tuned it up and snugged it up. And she's fine, man. She's good to go. But yes, a straight neck everything, man. And and it's like 98% perfect fret job, man. They did a great job. I mean, I, I can get it totally dead nut perfect, but I ain't going to sweat a couple thousands, man. That's all going to wear down when I break this baby in, and I can't wait till I feel better. I'm hoping tomorrow I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. But I'll play a tune on this, and I got the fireflies coming in. They're 90 miles away, man. So hopefully them are going to arrive tomorrow. And I'm still waiting. They lost my Dean case, but FedEx is on it. So hopefully that shows up tomorrow too, or they find it tomorrow. And they just got lost or got behind because of the holiday. And they we have the worth work, work ethics here in Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, it's like they probably didn't want to deliver it to the, the last uh, FedEx hub. They just wanted to get on their weekend uh, vacation or whatever. Or who knows? But, uh, but yeah, I'll uh, shoot another video out tomorrow. And hope, hopefully I can feel better and play a tune on this, man. Like I said, I'm feeling better. It might even happen later today. I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% well, but I'm feeling better. But, uh, I'll definitely get that, uh, Firefly video out. The unboxing of the two I got. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Been waiting a long time. Long time, man. Especially on that 338, man. I wanted wanted it when uh, Guitar Max, you know, had it a few years back. And it just went out of stock all the time. And then they jacked up the price. You could only get it on eBay. And I gave up on it, man. And, and then watching Access 2084, he has that the Firefly uh, Les Paul, man. With that, that mirror uh, pickguard. Oh, God, is it beautiful. It is beautiful. If you ain't seen it, check out Access 2084 on here. And uh, check out his Firefly, man. It is sweet. It's black, you know. Got that chrome. It's just, that chrome pickguard just, just stands out and just makes that Firefly bling, man. It's beautiful. Sounds outstanding, too. Fantastic guitar, man. That's why I can't wait to get them, man. But, uh... Yeah, I'll quit uh, talking my my uh, rear off here. <laughs> I like to talk guitar shop. And I just love guitars. And I can't thank you enough for subscribing. All you guys are subscri subscribing to my channel. I, I can't thank you enough, man. I really appreciate it. And I, I love talking to every one of you. And I appreciate you uh, shooting the shit with me and everything. I... I can't thank you enough, man. And for all my uh, big uh, channels that I watch, you know, who help me out, I love love you to death. I love all of you to death, man. For just being great people, man. But anyway, once again, thanks for subscribing to my cheesy channel and watching my cheesy channel or my cheesy videos and i can't thank you enough i'll see you guys on the next video man till then elvis has left the building see ya <laughs>